<coughs> Hi guys, it's Tom from Z-Boy Productions and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Mac OS X Lion 10.7 for your Windows PC um, it's an operating system so it's very good and it's not fake, it's actually by Apple so let's get started ok, well, you need four things for this but the two are here um, first thing you want is U U torrent. Um, that's what you need to download a torrent from. So it would look like this. I'll put all the links in the description. You download U torrent like this. I just downloaded it. It takes about six hours, but leave it going all night or in the background or something. Um, and you need this thing called Securable. Um, I put. I, I told you I put all the links in the description. But then you will. Get well, as soon as you downloaded the uTorrent file, you want find where you saved it to. So I'll put mine in downloads. Um, so mine's here, and it'll be a zip file. A so you need WinRAR as well. So you need to z no press that, and it should say um, extract to. Then you extract it to your desktop, and then you want VMware Workstation. Which will be included in the pack uh, here. So, okay, you open your folder. Be here. You got all these. You want to leave these two here, the two bottom ones. Um, you want to open VMware Workstation. Open this. It might take quite long, but doesn't matter. Yes. Okay, she come out like this. I've in, I've already installed this, so I won't be showing you for the installation, but I'll go with for you until I can have to stop. Okay, there you go. I want to press next. Okay, there will be two options here. I've got three because I've already done it. Um, there's one called typical and one called custom. And the one you want to pick is typical because you don't. The settings in custom are very confusing. So I'm gonna click typical. Wait for that to do it, and then it'll come up with an option to restart your computer or restart later. You have to. I'm saying you don't. You have to do it. You've got to restart it now because it won't work otherwise. Don't know why. Um, but as soon as you've done that, should be picture desktop. So that's what it looked like there. Done a lot of this. Let's minimise that. We need it later. The next thing is you want to go back to the three things here. You want to do the second one. Ignore these except from the one with the cogs right there. You want to right-click that and do Run as Administrator. Yes, and it will just come up with this a CMD command prompt, and it will close when it's done. There you go, so it's done now. Uh, you have to leave this one because that's what you're going to do on the VM firmware. So let's get on with it. Let's open VM. So it should come out like this. Now, what you want to do is press file, open. You want to find where the folder was, the pre installed. The first one this time, the first one. And then click that. And it'll come up as this. And you want to do edit virtual machine settings. Um, I would do one gigabyte. This this will make it run like Mac. If you have it too much, it'll be really laggy. Two less will still be really laggy. You want to do one to two gigabyte, no more, no less. You want to keep all of this that's actually the same here. You can choose what the virtual machine name is the power so I do enter full screen after powering on and I'll leave it from there and so you've got Mac OS X Lion loaded up so all you want to do now is press power on this virtual machine or press the play button up there power on this virtual machine and guys I forgot to say if you're running AMD processors it won't work Turn around and do something else. 
This will only work on Intel, dual core, or more. Because it won't work. It used to be unbearable to use. And, um, because I'm running Intel inside Core i5, I'm alright, it's not laggy. But, if you've got the dual core, or more, or less, or, I mean, or, or less, it won't be very good. So, bear that in mind. First time you use this, it, it should take a long time to load up. It takes a bit, a bit long for me, but it's, it's good enough. When it loads up first time onto the logging screen, it will, it will require a password, and there is no password to this, so just press enter. So that it should come up as this, so just press enter, but I've actually got a password, so. You will have black lines around the side, you will have borders around the side, but I'll show you how to get it off. So this is your Mac now. You've now got a real Mac, which is pretty cool because I've always wanted one. People who can't afford them, you get this. <laughs> Sound a bit poor, but you get this. It's exactly the same as a normal Mac. See, look, Mac OS version 10.7. Now this is the way you have to. I've got no borders because I've already done mine. But I will show you now how to do it. You want to click System Preferences. Uh, displays. And you want to choose your resolution of the screen and just press Exit and you are finished. You got to get out of this, you briefly crash to the top, top of the screen. It should come out of this. Exit, close and that and then we, or you can press control alt so it'll come up with that and then you press the window button so you can come up with that and to exit this just log it off what you've got to do is press like a normal one shut down shut down yeah. and that's it thank you for watching my tutorial all links in the description um please rate and subscribe uh thank you and have a nice day